In this episode, we're visiting prefabricated tiny houses in unique locations including Australia and North America. As always, thank you for joining in this journey and hope you enjoy this episode. Please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive our latest videos if you haven't done so yet. Let's travel to Australia where we're visiting a tiny house called Shacky. Ever wanted to spend the night in a tiny house? Well, you can do this in Australia where an entertaining company, Shacky, has partnered with farms to create homestays in a fully equipped, eco-friendly tiny house. Shacky is completely self-sufficient. The lights run on solar power, the water heated by a generator. The shower is located outdoors at the back of the house. Shacky's clever design means that comfort isn't sacrificed for closeness to nature. It has also been designed to blend in with its surroundings. The entire home spans just a few square meters. At the back of the house is a drop toilet, shower and high-end toiletries. Inside the single room, there's enough space for a soft double bed, table and chair. Put any thoughts of claustrophobia out of your mind. The best feature about the room is its wall-length window looking out into rolling hills. You're inside, but you could just as easily be sleeping under the stars. After all, Shacky is all about letting go, and while spotty phone reception might feel frustrating at first, settling into a slower lifestyle soon becomes a joy. As with most tiny houses, Shacky is movable. If a family no longer wanted to play host, Shacky could be relocated to new surroundings. Meet the Bunky, a flat pack prefab cabin. Furniture designer Evan Baer and architectural designer Nathan Bueller wanted to create a cabin that could be built like a piece of furniture that was radical in its use of all glass for two of the walls. They came up with a plan to use joinery techniques developed for furniture design to create a flat pack prefab cabin whose CNC cut plywood pieces can be assembled with simple tools and practical step-by-step -step instructions. The Bunky Company cabins can be put together by anyone with some construction experience and combined according to each individual need. The Bunky was originally conceived as an overflow space for cottagers in Canada's beautiful Muskoka region. Since then, the Bunky's appeal has expanded its use into a wide variety of contexts. The Bunky Collection comes in six distinct models that can be combined with a large range of interior options to fit anyone's lifestyle. The Bunky models measures between 96 and 106 square foot, allowing construction to take place without a building permit virtually anywhere across North America. Let's visit Solduk Cabin designed by Olsen Kundig. This 350 square foot cabin is a small purge for its occupant. When you're inside or on the deck, you're raised above the landscape with an excellent view out onto Solduk River, and the interior is like a warm, dry nest. It's located in one of the few temperate rainforests in the world, and rainforest here means wet and rather cold as opposed to wet and hot. Putting the cabin on stilts protects it from the clammy dampness and occasional flooding. The owner is an avid steelhead fisherman, and the Soldok has some of the best steelhead fishing in Washington State. The design allows him and his wife to arrive at this remote location, open the place up, and get to fishing as quickly as possible. The shutters are operated manually via custom steel rods. 
The large panels slide on hardware that was originally designed for sliding barn doors attached to the steel roof beam structure. That it seals up entirely when not in use is important partly because the location is so remote and also because the elements can be punishing. Although the building is virtually indestructible, it's made of unfinished mild steel and structural insulated panels. The insides are mostly wood for a sense of warmth. The materials are a direct response to the surrounding wilderness. Most of the cabin was prefabricated off-site, which minimized construction wastage and site disruption. The loft floor is made from 2x4s the owner had on site. The pieces were simply stacked and glued together, then bolts were threaded through the stack to secure it. Another showcase today is Colorado Outward Bound Micro Cabins. Located on a steep hillside in a large pole pine forest, these cabins were designed as micro dormitories for the Colorado Outward Bound School. The cabins sit lightly on the landscape, directing views from private spaces towards trees, rock outcroppings, and distant mountain views of the Mosquito Range. More public community views are directed into social spaces that develop from the organization of the cabins in relationship to one another. These community spaces are made up of front porches and the negative spaces between cabins. To satisfy clients' lodging and storage requirements and to facilitate completion in three weeks of on-site construction, the cabins were conceived as two separate elements, a box and a frame. The frame acts as a storage device for the educator's large gear, bikes, skis, kayaks, etc., while simultaneously housing the cabin box and covered porches. The prefabricated cabin box rests in the frame under the protection of a snow roof designed to keep the winter snow load off the waterproofed roof below. Hot rolled steel provides a low maintenance rain screen for the box. This steel cladding and the vertical columns blend with the lodge pole forest, minimizing the visual impact of the cabins. Structural taped glazing on the windows eliminates mullions and connects the occupants directly with natural views. The interior of the cabin is skinned in cnc birch plywood bringing warmth to the interior and evoking a connection with the trees surrounding the site. The plywood is specifically milled to accommodate desks, beds, and storage for each user. The walls and CNC plywood were prefabricated in Denver, flat packed onto trucks, and shipped to Leadville to shorten the on site construction timeline. Thank you for stopping by. Please subscribe and turn on the bell to hear about our latest videos. Stay tuned.